This is Steve Hooger, who is not running for office. I think he and I are the only two people at this convention who are not running for office at the Libertarian National Convention. He's from Iowa, and he just summed up perfectly. This is an Americans for Prosperity cocktail party hosted for the Libertarians at the convention. They have bust us off site. And, uh, and Steve is summing up, summing up something that we both agree about this event. Steve? Well, Bruce, as, as you mentioned earlier, uh, I think this will be the last uh, uh, Libertarian event ever hosted by Americans for Prosperity. So, uh, I, I think Steve may be right, but let's just see. Now, there, there are many, many people here. Steve, would you like to narrate? Um, the, uh, here you can see uh, a couple of the uh, staffers for Americans for Prosperity, as well as one uh, delegate to the Libertarian National Convention. Um, it may be a little difficult for some of you at home to see who is who, but the Libertarian is actually the one in the uh, tight shorts and the white high heels. He's wearing Bork's costume that she wore. She's he's wearing he's modeling he's modeling Star Child, who is uh, famous from Facebook and Ron Paul activities in California. And from and, her, and and Iowa, actually, because oh, Iowa? if you know, uh, if you're familiar with the Ron Paul campaign on, in Iowa, they're all about alternative lifestyles. And he's also famous for a recent TV uh, video with Tim Cavadal. But um, Star Child, who has been at the convention all day, is modeling a uh, variation of Bork's, Bork's outfit that she wore to the Grammys, I think, several years ago that consisted of a swan that she wore as a costume. And um, Starchild is outside buying drink tickets, and he has on the Bork costume, although he's taken the neck and the head off the swan and seems to just be wearing its feathers. Anyway, again, this is the Americans for Prosperity event at the um, Libertarian Party National Convention in Las Vegas. This is the. Uh, this is not the Red Rock Resort. We have been bussed off-site so that the um, Americans for Prosperity would not actually be associated in public with the Libertarians. But nevertheless, here we are, and um, there are a lot of candidates here. You should mention, Bruce. We've had several uh, Republican volunteers come by. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Steve is going to show us the Republican Tea Party of Nevada. We, we've had some Republicans uh, come by, and uh, you'll notice they're not here anymore. Yes, they, they uh, left. They listened to some of our Libertarian uh, uh, conversations, apparently. Steve is going to show us, though. They, they left us newspapers. Oh, these guys might be good. I don't want to criticize no, them. No, they Maybe may be good. good. They left us this newspaper. It's the Tea Party, but also Republican newsletter of... Uh, of um, Nevada, and we uh, we all support their un their attempt to unseat Harry Reid. And um, here's Starchild will just not bring those legs in. He's 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 liking it outside too much, and I really want to get film of Starchild, and he keeps resisting my ability to get his uh, to get him on camera. But now he's coming, so there there Star Ch Starchild goes. Earlier today, Chris Barron of GoProud, who I know, was Twitter was sending tweets to people saying it was his first Libertarian Party convention, and he didn't know what you wore to a Libertarian Party convention. And I tweeted back to him that we really stopped the nudism back in the 70s, and that nudity was now only required for the actual presidential nominating speeches. So, Chris, if you see this tape, this is actually the costume that you are expected to wear later in the weekend. All it's right. actually unusual to see this on the first day. Uh, the rest of us will be dressed similarly by Saturday. Yeah, night. yeah. It takes. A, we have to get our. We have to get our wardrobes together. Uh oh. Okay. okay. Catherine has found a tweet. Miss um, Catherine Litton and Steve I, is going to read it. I am Larry Flynn. Freedom of the press is not freedom for the thought you love, but rather for the freedom you hate the most. Hashtag World Press Freedom Day. And that and that applies and that applies to. To wardrobes as well. It's only it's only a really good outfit if it offends you. This incidentally is Andrew Dodge and his lovely wife Kim. Andrew, who is is he using the right finger? I'm not sure. He is running for Olympia snow seat in Maine. Olymp uh, Andrew, however, does not. Have